What's up guys? Uh, today I'm just going to show you the uh, Gen 4 DCX Pro. I've just connected a monitor to the DVR server and I'm just going to show you a power up and just show you some functions of the DVR. This DVR is a, a dual core processor so you know it it processes your information more quicker than standard DVRs on the market today. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's just power it up. You can see you have a nice blue light around the, uh, the shift knob for your power button. Um, light lights up. Okay, just give it a few to a few seconds for the system to boot up. Like I said, this DVR is a, a dual core processor. It can record D1 on all channels, okay? So let's go ahead and just show you some on-screen basic functions of this DVR. As you can see, it has a startup wizard. We don't need the startup wizard right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click cancel. What we have here is a system login. The default is 88888, okay? Your password is eight, six times for default. Okay, if you notice, there's a virtual keyboard. That's a sweet thing. There's no more, you know, pressing buttons on the remote if you don't want to, okay? So I'm gonna put in the password. Hit enter. Okay, so now we're at the main menu right here. I'll just show you the search. The search is more clearer on this device here. You've got your, your month, your year here, your days listed, the number of days in the month. If you want to advance to a month, you just click here. You go to October, November, December, etc., etc. Down here you have your play, pause, rewind, fast forward and advance, fast forward and rewind. Your timeline is down here, okay, and all of your video functions if you want to do multi-screen functions, okay. Information, that's hard drive information here, you know, if you, for example you put in one terabyte it will show you. Um, your top space and what space is available on your hard drive. BPS, you've got your log here, tells you what's going on with the DVR. If you, you, you connected a camera and say for example, your last video on, on that camera, it would tell you what time, day, that happened. Version, online users. Online users, here online users you can see when a user logged on and how long that user was on the DVR server for, okay, and you can block users too. Settings is your general, general is just your, your time, on the, time and date on the system, uh, languages. Uh, your, your time format if you want it in 24 hours or 12 hour um, your, your device number and uh, your device ID uh, schedule is your uh, scheduling if you want to um, put motion in if you want to put alarm motion detection with alarm so for example if you have a camera what's in a stock room and somebody opens that door to that stock room and they walk into your stock room and you have a camera there or a motion alarm that camera will alarm you and tell you somebody's in that stock room and it can send a snapshot of that person via email who's in that stock room you have your RS232 here okay your network if you want to put your DVR 
on a network so you can see your cameras remotely anywhere in the world okay here is your alarm for your alarm inputs detection is for motion you can input all your information here display is for your display of your monitor and your default advance is you know you have your, your hard drive information here uh, alarm output record accounts and uh, you have your TV adjustment you have your, your text overlay text overlay is for a function if you're hooking this DVR server up to an ATM okay then you have your config backup backup is when you're ready it's for example there was in an event and you want to burn it to uh, your blank DVD you can go ahead into this backup function and then pull a file and then burn it to a blank DVD shut down so basically this is a quick overview of the Gen 4 DCX Pro DVR server it's a great um, piece of equipment and for more information on this uh, DVR server please look in the description thanks guys